So for us, being a little startup, we had to start off with a car that was in, in, in low production and necessarily expensive. And of course, it has only the first version of technology. Our goal is to, is to get to cars that everyone can afford as soon as possible. This is probably the image you conjure up when thinking of an electric vehicle. Certainly not this. On first impressions, it looks like the sort of car that would stir the heart of a die-hard petrol head. But of course, there's no petrol. The Tesla Roadster has become a hit in California and it goes on sale in the UK tonight. One of the strangest things about driving this car is that it makes literally no sound. It has a real eerie silence as it drives up and down the streets. It goes from 0 to 60 in, well, next to no time. The speed's pretty intense, actually, when you first put your, your foot on the accelerator. It's certainly nothing like a normal electric car. The G-Wiz has been on sale for a number of years, and while they're increasingly common in central London, you're unlikely to find them in the rest of the country. But how does the Tesla Roadster compare with its electric and petrol rivals? In terms of cost, the Tesla and Porsche 911 Turbo are almost the same, and more than 10 times higher than the G-Wiz electric car. However, both electric cars are much cheaper to run than a traditional car, but the Porsche takes you further and refueling takes minutes rather than hours to charge. And while the G-Wiz can't take you to 60 miles an hour, the Tesla accelerates as fast as the Porsche. So the Tesla stats are impressive, but are they enough to steal customers away from traditional sports cars? A lot of car enthusiasts like the noise and the, and the sort of kind of emotional soundtrack that a six or eight cylinder or 10 cylinder petrol engine makes. You know, it's, it's all part of the excitement. And there's a perception that it's, it's almost like, you know, it's a fast milk float. It's not. This Californian icon is actually assembled at the Lotus factory in Norfolk and other British firms are building components for new electric vehicles. Tesla isn't any ordinary company. It's led by the founder of internet payment system PayPal and follows internet startup mentalities, farming out the design and manufacture to companies all around the world. Our goal is to, is to get to cars that everyone can afford as soon as possible. Um, but any technology has to go through a learning curve and has to go through economies of scale and, and that kind of thing. So for us, being a little startup, we had to start off with a car that was in, in, in low production and necessarily expensive. And of course, it has only the first version of technology. Tesla have only sold 1,300 Roadsters, so critics have argued that as such a small company, they'll never have the scale to revolutionize the automobile industry. But they have sold their battery technology to Daimler, who will build it into an electric smart car. And they hope that the Roadster is a convincing enough replica of a regular car that the public might just believe that the future really is electric.